Hi, welcome back to Encore's Time Master. In this video we're going to talk about the reporting option. Okay, a couple th things to note about the reports is in the new version 2.0 here we have also added CSV exports and if we go into reports we have all our setup options here. We've got a default email address so if you always want to make sure that you email the reports to your, your own email you might want to put that here. Save that. Uh, export fields. We have plenty of fields that you can export and you can turn them on or off. The type is whether it's a time entry or expense. We have dates, clients, all the codes, and even all the session stuff. And if you don't want to see some of the stuff, say for example you don't do sessions, you'll want to turn all the session things off. You don't want to use some of the notes or whatever. Can do that. Also, if you want to change the order of anything, for example, you want the reference purpose below the uh, tasks and expenses, you can move the the columns, the export order, just by moving the things around. Okay, we're going to save that. And the formats now we can send it out as just an HTML or we can send it as, as a CSV attachment directly from the iPhone or you can send yourself one that has both the HTML and the body plus a CSV attachment. So we'll leave this as, actually we'll do both here, HTML and CSV. Okay, if you're going to be importing the reports into a program such as Excel you'll most likely want to strip carriage return line feeds so if you are in one of the entries and you're entering returns in some of these. Let me see, I'll copy it, the note from the last one. And for example, if I was in here and I hit the return key a few times, you can see the cursor move down. Line three. So you can see that was a carriage return to get that down there. Now that will mess up Excel, so you want to make sure that in your setup, you strip the carriage return line feed, which will make everything all on one paragraph, but at least you won't have invalid data. Uh, grand totals just for the HTML, and that will give you a total per client. Uh, we have our delimiter here for the CSV. These last few columns only show up if you have uh, the CSV option on. Uh, we have the delimiter for tab. If you're exporting the CSV file to Mac or Windows, you choose that here. If you want to surround any of your text with quotes for your import, you want to do that here. If you want to zip compress the uh, CSV attachment, you can do that here. And if you want, you can even put in a password for the uh, CSV uh, zip file. Now one note about the passwords is on the Mac the built-in archive will not ask you for a password when you try to uncompress when you try to open a, a password protected zip file instead it'll say that the archive is unvalid so you will want to go to something like version tracker and download the free unarchiver program to to do that okay so let's say now we've got our setups done we're going to go back to reports uh, there's two types of reports. You can either have time and expenses, or if you just want time entries or just expenses, you can export those. You can pick your date ranges any way you want. You could say that you want to see what you had last month, or you can actually go in here, pick your dates if you want to range. Um, you got your quick picks down here. If you want just a specific client, you could set that here. Say we wanted to see just ABCs, or if we want, it's very tough to tap on that little X, but you can do it. Uh, projects, tax, expenditures, or any of the flags you can set. And then once you're done, you just hit generate. This will generate a report. You can see that for this date range, we had three customers that had uh, Exp uh, time entries and or expenses and you can see those here and you have your total time now with your total amount for all those 
you can tap on an entry and it'll show you all the entries for that client it'll show your time entries on top then your expenses and you can even go in and just give a quick view at what this was for okay and if you want you can look at the time of the entry how much time was spent on there or you can go back to the fraction go back to results now if we're happy with everything here we can email the report and our reporting is now inline so we can set this up you can see it picked our default to email address you can see here's our HTML table with all, all our data in it and when you're ready you just hit send there it goes it's sent successfully and that will actually shoot off to the email program and now you're still in here you can go back and you can run another report if you want so that's pretty much our report feature in a nutshell thanks for watching